Well everybody, today what I want to do is um, I wanted to touch on nipples a little bit for muzzle loaders. And there's been a there's been a little bit of a a discussion on the internet about nipples and what is the best. And to be honest, I can't tell you. Um, when you're shooting conicals, the uh, nipples are gonna they're gonna wear out pretty fast. But a friend of mine, his name's Lewis. Um, he goes by 54 bore. Um, he told me about some nipples called uh, Treso Ampco nipples, and the Ampco nipples are, and I'm going to show a I'm going to show a little bit closer uh, view of all this, but they're made out of a some kind of a gold looking. Uh, I know they're not brass because they are hard, but they are a uh, replacement nipple for the. Uh, well, you can get them for anything, but the, the ones I've got are for the TC Hawken and Renegade. And the very first thing that I found on them was my wrench didn't fit. So the flats, and I'll show this a little closer on when I do a close-up on my hands, but the flats on the nipple were wider, and I, and I did measure that, but I, I don't have that in my head right now but I will put it in right now anyway the uh, the flats were too wide so what I did was I used a file and I filed those instead of adjusting my wrench um, I didn't want to adjust my wrench because I didn't want the wrench to be ultra sloppy when I, uh, if I went back to the other style, and what I normally use is Hot Shot. Um, another thing that I found out about these Ampco nipples is the, uh, and I don't know if this is going to show very well, but the uh, caps fit on them very loose and to the point where if you tipped them upside down, they're just going to fall off that's an issue for guys that are hunting and the the quick and easy method would be to pinch your uh, your cap before you put it on your nipple but what I'm going to try to do here is do a little bit more of a um, permanent fix on this particular nipple uh, one of the other things that I wanted to touch on real quick is the flash hole on this is super tiny the uh, flash hole on this one is uh, 0.028. The uh, hot shots, they come from the factory at 0.035. And so they're very small. That in itself could cause uh, for, some, for some problems with um, detonating some powders like Pyrodex, uh, some of the other... Um, types of powders that are that are a synthetic powder instead of instead of the real black powder um, so anyway that is significantly smaller so that's something else you need to think about the other going back to the other thing that was the problem uh, you know filing off the flats that's not a big issue you can you can do that in just a few moments but the problem with this with these caps just falling off and literally well it didn't fall off there but they are literally so so lightly on there that you couldn't hunt with them and so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, I'm gonna see if we can we can make some adjustments on that so I am going to switch over and see if I can show some of that alright I hope this shows I can't my my camera is not wanting to zoom in but what my what my fix is going to be is I've got a quarter my my threads on this nipple are a quarter by 28 and I bought a nut that is a quarter by 28 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread that that uh, 
nipple into that nut just like that. There we go. I threaded that nipple into that nut and so what I have now is I've got the uh, nipple resting on the shoulders of the um, of the of the nut and that way I won't mess it up so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a um, a cap and I'm gonna put it on here I'm gonna put it on just like this and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm gonna score this nipple right where the cap is that way I know how far to to go down with it so I'm gonna scratch that just a little bit that way I can see it I know that's not gonna show but I've got that just it's scratched right there ever so slightly so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a small hammer and I'm gonna flatten that out just a little bit I'm gonna flare it and I'm gonna test it after I after I tap it I'm gonna test it because I don't want to go too far with it it's already starting to tighten up Still pretty loose. Okay, that's it. That's pretty good right there. It is tight enough right there that I'm having a hard time taking it off. It just doesn't fall off. I have to I have to pull on it pretty hard with my thumbnail to get that to come off. I might go just a pinch more. Okay, that is that is good. At this point right here, at this point right here, I hope all this is showing. I'm sorry if it's not. But at this point, I have tapped that a few times. I'd like one tap and then I go back and I fit I tap and I go back and fit and it has went it's tight going all the way to the mark that I scribed so now I'm gonna take that back off and that's it It's all ready to use right there. That is the the quick fix for the Ampco nipples. That's all ready to put on my rifle. Okay, I, I think that's going to do it for today. I've got this Ampco nipple all set and ready to go. It goes all the way on to where my scribe line is. And that, I believe, is going to be a permanent fix. Um, later on, when the cap, when the, ha the, the hammer hits this, there, the cap actually gives a little bit of a um, cushion. I didn't want to do it, to do this with the hammer. And and the hammer on the gun, the cock on the gun. 
And the reason why I didn't want to do that is these are super hard. And it's hard to say what kind of shock that that's going to give to the rest of the lock. Um, it's just something I didn't want to risk. And so what I did was I went with, um, I went with tapping it this way with my uh, hammer and that way that way it's a permanent fix and it's something that I can trust now in the field so I hope you all like this one uh, it's a little bit of a different um, video than what I've been used to but um, I I wanted to show exactly how I was going to tackle the Amco nipples not working right